Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run Codex CLI inside VS Code. If you never heard about Codex CLI, please watch my other video because there I explain all the details. To get started, open VS Code, then click on the extension icon and inside search, write Codex. Then you will see a lot of different plugins. Make sure to select the correct one and the correct one made by OpenAI. After that, click the install button and wait for the installation is completed. If everything is okay, you will see the codex icon at the top right corner. Simply click on it and you will see the codex at the left menu. Codex CLI is not available for free users, so you need to have at least a ChatGPT Plus account. If you have it, then you can log in. Simply click on this button. After that, you will see the page in your browser. You need to log in to your ChatGPT account. And if everything is okay, you will be able to use Codex inside VS Code. First launch, you will have a guided tour that explains everything that you can do with Codex. So Codex could work in your local environments plus in the cloud. It could execute commands, run tests, create PR and so on. You also will see link to the training data preference. If you click on it, you can turn off this feature to don't allow model train on your own data. Okay, let's go back to chat. The top menu, you will see three icons. One is to start new chat, another one to see the history, and the last one is the settings. Inside the settings, you can connect MCP, see keyboard shortcuts, or, or just some advanced settings. The bottom menu, you could control if the environments for Codex is local or cloud. You can switch the mode. For example, if you want to uh, use the Codex as an agent mode uh, or as a chat. And you also can adjust reasoning afford. For example, you can select like, medium or high. So by default, it's medium and I recommend you keep it as is. Unless you work on some complex task. But keep in mind, then execution will be much slower. Okay, and now you are ready to start your first prompt. I'm going to use agent mode in my local environments and I will ask Codex to create for me a simple to-do application with some bootstrap styling, authentication and database. As always, to follow best practices, write more descriptive prompt, add a little bit more of the context and then you will get the better result. If you see this issue that your submit button is not activated is probably due to the fact that you didn't open any project folder so you have to open some project or you have to create a new one in order to use codex cli after that open codex again and now you can write your first prompt i'm going to create a simple to-do application just to show you that everything is working in vs code and if you want to try codex cli inside the terminal watch my another video about this tool Okay, my prompt is ready, let's launch it and let's see for the result. Inside VS Code, you will see what steps is in the progress, what is done already and what is left. Actually, you don't have to worry about anything, you can work on other things. And once Codex CLI finished the work, you can go and look for the result. This is the beauty of Agent because by the time when the agent is working, you can also work on other things. Okay, it seems my application is done. Let's try to run the suggested command and see how it looks like. I open the terminal inside VS Code, run the server. Let's open the browser. And here we go. This is my simple to-do application. Let's create a login and let's log in. And as you can see, this is simple to do. Let's try to check if everything is working. Okay, I can create a task, I can delete the tasks and seems everything is working fine. Let's try to log out and then log in again and see if our data is there. And as you can see, everything is there. So as you could see, the Codex CLI is working fine. This is our simple to-do application. So you can do much more things than just this simple to-do application. There are a lot of possibilities that uh, Codex CLI provides you. All you need, uh, give it a shot try to experiment with different tasks and then you will know how it could be useful. Um, by the way, by default, Codex CLI works on ChatGPT 5 model. So it is the latest model from ChatGPT. It is quite powerful and very good for coding tasks. And that's probably it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please click like, share it with other people. And I hope to see you in my other videos. Bye.